why you must have goals in life, big goals. So guys, goals are ingrained in us as humans. We are goal-oriented creatures. We survived in the wilderness as hunter-gatherers because we had goals, because we had goals to uh, attain shelter. We had goals to hunt, to catch food. We had goals to reproduce. And throughout human history, we have gotten to this point due to the fact that we've always had goals, right? So we go from hunter-gatherer days to agriculture to now the industrial revolution to now the information age. So everything that's evolved in human history as of now is due to the fact that human beings are goal-oriented creatures. So here's the thing. The biggest reason why you must have big goals or just goals in general is because if you don't have goals, you're just going to be blown out. Like you'll just be wherever the wind takes you, right? You'll be uh, basically just wherever you find yourself. Meaning it's not if you, for example, are driving, let's say you're driving, right? And you don't have a set destination, right? There's no goal or destination or target to where you want to go. Then you're just driving, right? You're just driving for no reason. And, you know, sometimes it's okay to drive to clear your head and everything. But for the most part, when people drive, it's to go somewhere, right? You're going to the gym, you're going to the store, you're going to see your friends, you're going to work, right? So in the same way, it's like when you don't have a goal, you're just going like you're just like aimlessly going nowhere in life, right? And guys, like think of the average person. Think of just like the person who just like survive. Like think of the people who are just surviving right now, right? Think of the people who are just like, doing whatever they're going home they're paying their they're paying their bills they're going home right they're going to the movies they're doing this they're going out this pl to this place and they're just like existing and there's nothing wrong with that like we you know i'm not here to denigrate people in general i'm not here to hate i'm not here to be like mean in a way but i'm here to just illustrate a point that like you know and the saying also goes like if you're not setting your own goals, then you're going to be a part of someone else's goals. So if you have goals or not, whether you have goals or you don't, you're going to be part of someone else's dream, someone else's goal, right? So like, for example, if you don't have your own goal for your career, right, you're going to be a part of someone else's or you don't have a, a goal to be your own business owner. Well, you're going to be part of another business's goals financially or whatever, right? So you know, and if, and you know, another example of that is if you're just a consumer, you're just helping other people attain their goals, right? Because business owners don't care that you're a mindless consumer. They want mindless consumers, right? Because they have, when you consume as a customer, you're helping the margin, you're helping the profit margin of that company. And then everyone who works in that company based, if they're commission based, they get a, a chunk of that, right? So People want, business owners want you to be consumers, but the difference is, is when you have your own goals, right? And I'm kind of trying to illustrate a point here. When you have your own goals, you know where you're going, right? Even if you can't see it yet, even if you can't see the end, uh, the end road or the end result, right? The fact that you have at least an idea of where you're going you're gonna get somewhere close. You might not hit it exactly, hit that exact goal in that same amount of time, but at least you're you're not aimlessly wandering around through life. Like most people, like it's, it's, yeah, I hate to say it, but it's like, when you guys look around, most people are just like bots, NPC bots. And I, like, I hate to, I hate to bring the human being down to that level and, and call people just bots, but like most people are just walking fucking zombies right? No personality, no goals, no life to them, dead, complaining, victims. Like most humans are just fucking useless. And I'm, I, I'm sorry to like make it sound so like blatant and, and like just out there like that. But the truth is, is most people, I don't know, 75% of people are just fucking useless. They're useless and they're just wandering, doing nothing, being mindless consumers, having fun here and there, doing this and just paying their bills and getting by. And it, it, like that will be your life if that's 
if that's what you don't want, you need goals. Because by default, those people who are living like that, who are just like doing whatever, whenever they want, whatever, like just not having any accountability, not having any goals, not not having any discipline, those people are the are the ones that are going to suffer as we continue to move, you know, continue to move forward, right? Inflation's only gonna get worse, right? Especially if you don't know how to invest or you don't know how to create your own uh, source of income. So if it's guys, it's really important to have goals, man. I, I can't really stress it enough. It ha you have to have financial goals, you have to have fitness goals, you have to have education, like educational goals, right? Um, because if you don't, then by default, you will be part of the masses, right? And there's no like one, one like middle ground. There's no middle, there's no balance to this. It's one or the other. There's no lukewarm like ground here. It's you're going to either be this way or that way based off of if you decide to have direction in your life, right? And like I said, I'm not here to tell you what kind of goals to set that's unique to your own life and, and what you want out of life. But the fact that the fact is, is that you have to have some sort of direction and some sort of um, aim in life, right? Because if not, like I said, you're just going to be wondering why you're suffering, wondering why you're broke, wondering why you're not happy, wondering why you're poor, wondering why you feel like you don't have any meaning in your life. And guys, you know, it's scary, but when you live so long, like let's say you live like 40, 50, 60 years, I can't imagine how it can be it, it must be excruciatingly painful living for like 50 to 60 years with absolutely no goals or no sense of advancement in life it, it must be depressing like i can really see myself like if i didn't have anything going on i literally would be like wow like i would just want to end my life and i'm not trying to be like you know suicidal here i'm not trying to say like you should kill yourself if you don't have any goals but in my like subjectively, I would not want to live if I was just like aimlessly wandering around, like doing nothing or being a consumer, just doing whatever here and there, wandering around aimlessly, right? Because like I said, I want to be rich. I want to be successful. I want to be happy. I want to be fit, right? I don't want to be poor. I don't want to be tired. I don't want to be anxious. I don't want to be controlled by other people, right? I don't want it all the, I don't want to be just living moment to moment and just doing what, what feels good, right? I don't want to live like that. Because I know what that life results in. It results in, like I said, unhappiness, you're poor, you're sad, you're pissed off. Like, I don't want to be that, right? So I don't think any of you guys either. So like I said, evaluate your life, see what, see which areas you can set bigger goals in and sit down for, you know, if you, because like most people really don't write down their goals. I, I struggle with it at times, but I do have some written goals down and I think it's important. You know, I'm not saying you got to sit there and you know, be like just journal every day, but you should, you know, maybe once every six months, set some new goals, review, reflect, and then set more goals, right? So yeah, that's it. That's all guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you are new to my channel, please make sure to subscribe. If you guys have any questions, comments, leave them down below. And as always, I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace.